Hello there everyone, this is Mega Knight here, getting ready to play the Infecti. Today, if you've seen the last episode, I found Mike. Hi Mike. You don't look too well. So, in the last episode, like I said, I found Mike. In, uh, so now this episode, we're going to have to build him a home. And I will say, the last episode was one hell of an event. That was for sure. And timing, too. Although, it may not be as uh, epic for you guys, but it was for me. So, now that we've got that all cured, I went ahead and picked out a location for where I'm going to set his home at down at. I did a bit of grinding, as you can see my light value was uh, has increased to 4.4 .4 from the 1 point whatever. So by the looks, if you want to get about 8 ingots, it's going to raise it. The, if you sit there and make sure to get all this done correctly, in other words, you keep watch at all times, Eight to get 8 ingots, your no your light value is going to raise by about 3.2ish points in other words we'll just round it to 3 uh points for 8 ingots which that's if you're doing it by stone if you do it by ore it's like less a lot less like significantly less but anyways we're going to get ourselves some nails crafted up. I'm going to get some nails crammed into here because we're going to need that. We're also going to need that. Uh, we're going to also need a box and a couple of other things. I do have some more fragments here. Oh, and I've got my cure. I managed to get it. Woohoo! <coughs> Alright. So... Also, this is the all the ores I've collected from the um, monsters. I can't really call them vambies anymore because they're vampires, werewolves, and goblins. So, they're technically monsters. So, now that we've got this, that's great. Oh, and another thing. If you manage to make it this far, here's a trick for you guys. So you know how you with this you have to like with your hand on the mouse and one on the keyboard you have to choose which hand to move over to to delete and then confirm and then back over to the thing so you can move forward again. Well, here's a trick. If you hit delete tab delete enter, you can simply repeat the process like this and ta da. You can actually speed up the process if you f remember the pattern. So for that, it's delete, tab, delete, enter. And you can use your hands and you can also do it like this too. So you can go around here like this. You put the camera in the angle you wish to place it into. And then you can simply speed delete everything. Also, there's a potato plant. Mine. So over here, I decided to put him over here. This is where I'm going to put his house. This is going to be where his house goes. I'm assuming this is enough room, but I could be wrong. And this is where the town hall is going to be. And uh, I got most of the logs put in. So basically at this point, it's just finding uh, or getting uh, planks. And then we got to get ourselves some clay. Now that I've spent like 20 years telling you and talking and all that fun stuff, we're going to get going now. So we need clay, we need a box, uh, we need an empty box because we're going to need to be able to collect a bunch of clay and we're going to also need to make nails. So craft, repeat, craft, repeat. We're going to need about 80 of these. Because uh, the buildings are somewhat expensive. Although at the same time not. Now that we've got the nails. We got that. We just need a load of planks. Which uh, we'll empty these out. 
And depending on how much oh, we're taking from that side instead. Okay. We're going to go over to here. We're going to fill in all this. Then we're going to try and place down the whatever you call it for the guy. I'm going to be adding a front porch for him. I, in other words, I'm going to put right here uh, a piece here. I'm going to make it curved right here and here. I'm going to put some railings here and here, put some steps so he can walk up. Ooh, onion. And then uh, be able to walk back down. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get that rock. If not, oh well. We need to make sure this is big enough to place his stuff and blip nuggets. I'm one short. And then... I'm going to cure him so that he can be up moving around, which is going to be yay. And then I'll get his little play, um, town hall. And then after that, uh, I'll probably go back to looting. Or I might look at something else that I need to get done. Okay, so if we oops, have four placeables NPCs to see... I know you can fit this on here with just uh the dang it. I know you can fit it on there. That's why I was gonna build the little porch for him. Because Because I wanted to make sure that I can actually get him enough room. We're going to need some planks there and some logs there. So we'll throw some logs in the cart and then get that. And I'll probably do another little front porch for the town hall. Because if I remember correctly, can the it should be able to fit on a 2 by 3 Oops. There we go. A 2 by 3 should be enough for it to fit, but it's also very picky, and if you don't have it low enough, oops, you're going to end up having trouble like I am. Alright. I wish this had at least enough to finish three stupid uh, platforms, but I guess not. Uh, well, uh, one thing that would be nice is if there was, uh, some kind of way, to, the way to put, uh, what do you call it, log stands in this, so you can put three log stands in it, that would allow you to carry, what is it, eight, eight, sixteen, twenty-four logs, that would be, that would make the car absolutely amazing. And it would double its capacity. And it would kind of make sense. Because I mean. If you put walls up. Or put things on the sides. Here, here, and here. And lift it up higher. You could actually put more logs. And then if you carry it like this. You can see where the hell you're going. And dragging logs along with you. I'm hoping this will be enough. To at least get a set up. I kind of feel bad leaving Mike out in the rain like this, which is kind of why I'm trying to get his home set up. All right. Placeables. NPCs. This. There we go. I hate that it's a little picky like this. Because if you look, if you set that on the corner right there, oh no, oh, you cheap, you cheap, just because we can't, f this building needs to be resized just slightly, this should, that's stupid as hell that we have to build this, actually I don't know if we actually have to build this, but it's stupid. This should be able to fit perfectly. Oh well. We're gonna need clay and planks and other fun stuff. I don't know if this... Yes, we're gonna need logs. 
like I said, I want to get this done so that he has a place to be sitting in. I'm going to cure him. Then we're going to get all kinds of other fun stuff. And he will get himself a little front porch and railings and other fun stuff. And I will be showing a, a quick way to harvest trees, uh, trees and other items. I've already shown three the three methods, but not everybody has seen every episode. So maybe you want to know how to super speed chop trees and not just speed chop. Because I showed the first two methods are just fast. The third method is insane. Like, it puts the original method, if you time it correctly, like perfect, it puts the original method to beyond shame. It's like, you just stare at the tree and it just falls over. It's just like, hi tree, and it just goes crumple. And it's just like, yeah, you scare me. Which is kind of funny and amusing. Although it's not actually like that. Uh, da -da -da. Chances are I'm going to have to do the same thing over there because the stupid uh, building. Uh, my curiosity is, can I... I would like to place... What is it? Other constructions? Railings? Ooh, yes. I'm going to do that. I don't know if I'll be able to, uh, the reason why I'm doing that now is because I don't, some of the things get blocked and you can't always place them down. Like if I was to build this structure before uh, placing these, it might prevent him from being able to do anything. Although with him, since he jumps over the railing, there's really no point for this. And the fact that he can jump over logs is even more impressive. Okay, so that's all that. We'll set this to the side. We next need uh, nails, clay, planks. Oh, yeah. Might as well start getting the clay. So the trick is if you rebind your shield to the right mouse button, if you click right mouse click right mouse you can simply speed up the process of this and ta-da and when you time it fat right it's just woo, it's insane like really super insane you just done now I'm not perfectly timing it because I'm not focused on the timing but it definitely is a lot lot faster than any other method and I absolutely love it uh, we should be getting 10 each time that's 10 20 30 uh, what's my weight 50 now I have six technologies left right now uh, to grab and my estimations I have six towns left that means depending on how my luck goes I'll have to go visit all six towns. If I'm lucky, I only have to visit three of the towns because I'll get two technologies per town. But if I'm unlucky, I'll get one. Uh, here we are. Yeah, it might, for some people, it might be a little annoying seeing that shield flip up in your face. But again, that's a, it's a completely up to you on whether or not you want to use it. I personally love it because me I don't always have the time to go and spend 20 years chopping down trees and stuff I work a full-time job I help take care of my family I deal with the military although that's gonna be ending soon uh, and then I've got my YouTube channel here as you know that I've got to work for uh, so I'm very very busy and very uh, limited on time I can't afford to do that so I take advantage of things uh, I take advantage of all kinds of things that I can which is why I'm always looking for looking for tricks tips helpful hints little tidbits like if you do this and do that and you do this and that and that and this all of a sudden you're like uh, look at me 
Woohoo, I'm done. And, but everyone has different plays, styles, different things, all that fun stuff. No room in a backpack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's get this. So all we'll have left with this is the nails. Then we can cure Mike. Actually, we may have to get more planks. Dang it. We're going to have to do two more runs of planks. But once, uh, but yeah, as we go along, you'll learn tricks and other tidbits. Like how to repair your crossbow and bow. Or, uh... Well, as you've seen, how to chop trees fast and mine fast. There's other tricks. And as we go along, we'll, I'll end up discovering other tricks and other tidbits. Ooh, yes, perfect. And we have two left over, and we just need nails. And I'll discover other things along the way, like using this and grabbing a... Want an empty crate with that, and if you seen my last episode with him, you would have seen. You'll see what I'm talking about. And let's get this set up. I'll probably I'll probably throw the logs into the little thingies here, so that way this is complete. And then after that, we should be good to go. Uh oh, yeah, we need to put. Actually, do I want to? I was thinking about putting one of these right here. One thing that would be nice is still stair rails. I don't know if they uh, there is. Maybe I didn't. No, 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 but no. These aren't stairs. That ain't stairs. That ain't. So what would be nice is some stair railings that we could put on the wooden ones. That would be really nice. Three, and then we get over here, and then one, two, three, perfect. Now we got ourselves a nice little place here. When we start getting power and light, I'm going to put a light right here for him, and then I think I might put one like right in the center somewhere right about here. All right, Mike. You're getting your home and cured. Double win. That also means I can start setting up. Ah, oh, you flip. I forgot about this. He he weighs eight hundred pounds. Another trick is uh, for those of you who are lazy or uh, want a quick way to move him. If you set him down like this and then you pick up and sprint you can quickly move and then set him down and sprint and repeat the process and this will help you get through him get places faster give give uh too bad it didn't automatically give it to him it's kind of interesting how he starts reacting like that once he gets put on his bed. You think he would be acting like that beforehand, but, uh, oh well. Alright, Mike, we're getting you some antibodies. And then we're gonna get your town hall. You're alive! Recall? Repair stuff, take care of plant beds, replenish log stands. Right now, technically, he would be replenishing log stands, but he's not full. I pers... Mm, never mind. Since technically he's sick, he may not have been eaten. So I guess it would make logically make sense. But at the same time, I personally think he should be well fed. Because, I mean, if you are taking care of him and all that fun stuff... All right, let's get his uh, little town hall since getting Mike up and running is expensive when you get everything all at once. In other words, the foundations for this and the cost for this, then the foundations for this and the cost for this. We're going to set up. This has two back doors, two doors last I remember. 
Yep, still does. So we're going to oh, turn our light on. We're going to put a front porch here, like I did in the other place. So let's place, what is it? Foundations, one here. Then we're going to, nope, not that. Take this, switch that right there. Switch that right there. We're going to get this set up so that we can then fill in the rest. And I think I'm going to have to start pumping logs into the benches. Because what are we? Yeah, we're pretty well getting ready to run out. So I may actually have to start grabbing uh, more. I'm going to have to start chopping more. Dang it. Yeah, I definitely need to start chopping a lot more. Holy flip. I burned through a lot of planks. Uh, you. We're going to have to eat some meat and other, a couple other items. I might just simply eat one of the stupid uh, thingies. Let's put a stairs. Actually... I might just put stairs right here so that they're not in the water. Yeah, we'll put stairs here. All right, let's grab this. We're going to need it anyways. And I'm going to put stairs here instead. Uh, F4... There's what well, we're going to put these. Mm -hmm. Oh. Flip. There. That should be out of the I you. Perfect. There. Now we can fill in all of this. Hopefully we can fit it all on there. So we're going to need more planks, more logs. I thought I had enough logs for all of this. Guess I was wrong about that. Uh, yep, we're going to have to start chopping logs All right, let's go chop down some logs. Thankfully, I have my speed chopping method. Oops, place that, and here we are. Done. Oops, got to be careful not to accidentally kick logs to outer space. It's annoying as hell when you pick this up and all of a sudden you, all the logs just go and they're gone. All right, I needed uh, I needed planks, not logs. Uh, or actually, I need logs to make planks. You. I heard a pig. Uh, do we have a spot that needs a log? No. Nope. Dang it. All right, we'll drop that there for now. There's another trick where you can actually take an extra log with you. It's a bit of a pain to do, but you simply just walk slowly like this with the log in front and you can just drag it along with you at least or at least get it close to your destination you wish to get it to and if you slowly turn while doing this you can bring it over but it doesn't always work it mostly requires your patience and skill as you see tada this brought an extra log with me part of the one thing i want is i want 
the saw circular saw bench because this will give me extra logs or not logs but planks that will uh, allow me to build faster with less logs and this is a little bit of a tight fit I probably should have moved that over a little bit but I mean it actually kind of works too because you can come out walk over here walk up this and uh, ta-da we're gonna try and get this all settled in perfect now let's try and get this building last building put in NPC buildings so we get this we need to move this uh, I, oh, there we go. There. So we got this. Now I can put some railings here and then uh, railings here. And uh, I don't think there's any railings I can put here. Not at least no open railings. Uh, railings? Yeah, there's no open corner railings. We need planks here. We need logs here. Clay here. We need quite a bit more clay. I'm missing clay. Oh, there it is. Perfect. I'm going to go and get more... Uh, we're gonna go get more logs and more uh, planks and all that fun stuff and oops give me that back We're gonna get the logs we're gonna go mine the clay and all that fun stuff All right Actually, no, we'll We'll dump these here Dump, dump, and dump. We'll take this with us. We'll go chop down trees. We'll get the logs. We'll set up the railing for those two spots. We should have Mike by the end of this episode. Which I'm not sure how long it is. Because for some reason my record timer is not showing properly. But oh well. There we go. Absolutely love my fastest method so far. There's another secret fourth method, but I highly, highly, highly recommend not doing that one. That one, I call it the, uh, I'm so addicted to tree, speed tree chopping, please help me. Yes, the title is overkill. But basically what you're doing is you're letting the enemy attack you. And in the process of that attack... Here, uh, the enemy's attacking interrupts your uh, chop animation, and when it interrupts your chop animation, it allows you to then quickly swing again. Allow and then when they interrupt your attack again, you can then repeat that process. The problem is, by the time you're done with one tree, you're practically dead, so it's not really worth it at all, but it is... A possibility at least from what I can tell I, 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 I was attempting it but I was like yeah no I'm not gonna actually try that because if I actually die that's gonna be stupidity on my part I mean I enjoy testing out things but when things are just absolute stupid even I know not to even I know some, uh, when something's too stupid. We're going to need your protein. We're going to also need to harvest out uh, more of this. Oh, wow. We're almost done with this episode. And then after that, I can start setting up plant beds for him. Once we get plant beds set up, we'll be good to go. Because then he can start getting food for us. And ta-da! 
I also need to get pumpkins because that's going to be my biofuel. And there's quite a few things that people do that they don't realize they sh uh there's there's some things I suggest before trying to even go for a cave. I recommend uh trying to get at least 5 extractors going so that first because you want to be able to get iron produced the fast nope we don't need that we need clay the faster you get iron in the faster and better things will be for you so your most optimum method is uh is going to be going for iron don't bother for anything else just go straight for iron and once you get iron at a sufficient rate then go for everything else and I think I'm going to simply just eat. Actually, we can eat this, eat this, eat this, and eat this. That gets our stamina. Our protein's a little low, but that's fine. I don't know if I'm going to have enough. I'm going to. Actually, I don't. That's why I'm getting logs and stuff right now. Do I have a stick? No. I need a stick and a rock. Or actually two sticks and two rocks because I got to be able to make a pick. Uh, where? All right. And two. There we go. So let's continue to get clay. I don't know how much clay I, I'm going to need. Oh, it broke. All right. One of these. One of these. One of these. One of th some of those. One of th Actually, we'll wait on that part. And then once... Hopefully, we'll have this all set up and ready to go. There's 10. Perfect. If, if you ever wonder if, you ha if you're missing stuff... All you gotta do is just open your inventory and check if you've... Okay, I, th I thought that was like a melon under the ground, uh, or under the water. I'm like, uh, all you got to do is just open your inventory and ta-da. Some, some other things that would be nice would be some other technologies, like a technology for a chainsaw and a technology for a jackhammer. Basically, they are you, they require fuel in order to operate, and you can build them and all that fun stuff. Uh, you and uh, if you use them within your little red sphere or circle here, it causes noise value to increase. But if you use them outside of it, it doesn't. Which would give reason to use the cart and other fun stuff. And, uh, we'll drop that. We'll go dump the clay and the, the planks. But, yeah, if we get technologies for that, that would be amazing. What are we at? Ten more clay. Uh, quite a few more logs. Let's go grab our thing here. Let's go get more logs put onto this. Oh, I did not realize I had more uh, right there. All right, let's gonna go. Let's try and fill up the logs. Then we'll try and fill up everything else that we need. And it won't be long, and we'll have everything ready to go. Alright. Chopping, chopping, chopping. If you time the thing wrong, it takes forever. Oh, well, actually, it doesn't take forever. It still chops as fast, if not faster still. Are we almost done? 
I don't expect this episode to do too well because, I mean, it's literally just me building stuff for Mike. Nothing interesting is happening. No progress on my building. No other progress on other buildings. Blah, 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 blah. But maybe people are interested in how I do things. There we go. That's all the logs. We just need planks, which we need 30... We need 33. That is roughly two, two planks per log. So 15, we need about 15 more logs, which we can almost get that from this here. We just chop down one of these and then one small one. One thing that's nice is that they added in bushes, which gives you sticks. If you chop down this, you can get sticks from it, which is very nice. Oh, I got to make an axe. Uh, I forgot what else I needed. I think I needed clay for it, too. Yes, 10 clay. Which... I hear a deer. There we go. All broke, all collected, and we're missing two. Where the hell are they? There they are. Uh, free protein. Yep, we're just missing planks now. Sweet. We'll have everything ready to go. I know this episode has been basically a night one, but that's why I've got my little helmet here. It helps me see in the dark. Woo, bye chicken. Well, actually, I need to look at some other buildings that I need to get ready for. Uh, other, we're going to need a barn, which means 10 iron, 15 iron, 25 iron total. You need at least a 4x4 four four foundations, which is nice that it tells you. It would be nice if this told you how many foundations to... So we're going to have to look into this at some point, but we're going to need to get this first, which means we're going to need copper. And uh, in order to get copper, we're going to need to get mineral extractor. But in order but we're, in order to get enough mineral extractors, we're going to have to get at least one going for iron. But if we want to make iron, uh, cook iron faster, we're going to need brick forge, which means we're going to need dry bricks and iron for that. So our next goal will list realistically be brick forge, then the mineral extractor, and then after that we'll start going a few for a couple other items in the process. So let's hurry up and get the planks here uh, done, and then basically call it an episode because we got Mike cured, we got him a home, we got quite a few other things ready to go. And then after that, uh, we need to finish up getting the rest of the technologies. Once we get the rest of the technologies, then perfect. And then after that, we can really start to build. We can actually uh, start building. Oh, what the hell? Oh, right. There we go. Now we need to make room for this by moving this up. And then after this, I will be good to go. I should, or at least should be. Because now we got Mike with his nice, neat little home. 
my itch. Oh, yes, yes. I know you're hungry, dude. I'm working on it. Don't worry. Uh, I'm tempted to place a little uh, foundation setup over here so that he can simply harvest and operate that. But that would, or actually, you know, I think, yeah, I'm going to extend off here. I'm going to put a back, uh, a piece on the back here, extend it out this way over to here, then create a little foundation area for the greenhouse and set up a makeshift uh, farm place. So that way he has a way from back here, collect this stuff, all that. Oops, I got distracted. And... Oh, right. I forgot. I need else. Oh, you flip. You f... She be foo. Flipping one, one, one. Uh... All right. Well, let's grab the nails. Let's quickly grab that and don't want to chop down too many of these trees here because I'm using them for shade around my place when I'm working. But there's... Alright. You're going tree. I, would... I guess you'll be back in five days. Which means... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14... And on about day 14, oh, he'll be back. Which is nice. Alright, let's get these all plopped in and ready to go. I think I need some logs for, uh, not logs. I think I need planks for the last bit anyways. And hurry up and finish. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, we're going to get this set up and call it good. I know I got that right there to finish, but that isn't that important. And boom. There we go. Everything. Oh, everything is set up. We've got our little place here for him. I need to finish this up real quick. Oh, there we go. So. If you guys enjoyed, please like. If you didn't, I understand. It was just me getting everything built and ready for Mike. I am going to be uh, looking towards setting, get, trying to get the greenhouse and other things set up. But that's not going to be this the next episode. Next episode is going to be more looting. So I can get the rest of the technologies. If you want to see more, make sure to check out my um, channel. I do play other games in the process. And if you want to see other games... Or if you want to see more of this series, make sure to check out the end screen credits as I will be doing more. And if you want to be added on to the end screen credits like these people, make sure to publicly subscribe. After about two or so weeks, I'll add you on. If you leave before I reach a thousand, though, I'll remove you off because it's for people who gave me a chance. For now, let's hurry up and get all this eaten, restored, and prepared for the next episode. And there we go. Pumpkin is going to be important for biophila. As you can see here, it decays in 30 minutes. Uh, these tend to decay in about 25-ish. Anyway, see you next time.